After World War II, both West Germany and East Germany were obliged to pay war reparations to the Allied governments, according to the Potsdam Conference. Other Axis nations were obliged to pay war reparations according to the Paris Peace Treaties, 1947. Topic: Early Propositions. An early plan for a post-war Germany was the Morgenthau Plan with terms that would have essentially transformed Germany to an agrarian society. The French Monet Plan would have transferred the Ruhr area to France. This position was completely changed by the London Agreement on German External Debts, also known as the London Debt Agreement German, Londoner of 1953. <laughs> Payments According to the Yalta Conference, no reparations to Allied countries would be paid in money. Instead, much of this value consisted of German industrial assets, as well as forced labor to the Allies. The Allied demands were further outlined during the Potsdam Conference. Reparations were to be directly paid to the four victor powers France, Britain, USA and the Soviet Union. For the countries in the Soviet sphere of influence, the Soviet Union would determine its distribution. <laughs> Annexation of territories The Soviet Union annexed the German territories east of the Oder Nice, leading to the expulsion of 12 million Germans. These territories were incorporated into Communist Poland and the Soviet Union respectively and resettled with citizens of these countries. In the case of Communist Poland, the majority of settlers were people expelled from eastern Polish territories annexed by the Soviet Union. France controlled the Tsar Protectorate from 1947 to 1956, with the intention of using its coal deposits and possibly annexing the region to France permanently. The same mines had been under French control from the end of the First World War until 1935. Following the results of a plebiscite, France had to relinquish its control of the Saar region on 1 January 1957. The Netherlands annexed approximately 69 square kilometers of German territory in 1949, nearly all of which was given back to the West Germany government in 1957. Under the Dutch-German treaty made in The Hague on 8 April 1960, West Germany agreed to pay to the Netherlands the sum of 280 million German marks in compensation for the return. Similar annexations have been conducted by Belgium as well as Luxembourg. Most of these territories were also returned after German compensation payments. Topic. Dismantling of industries At the beginning of the occupation, the Allies commenced to dismantle the remnants of German industries. Plants and machinery were dismantled, the railroad system deconstructed and everything transported to the Allies. The German merchant fleet and all other ships were handed over. Foreign stocks of about $2.5 billion were confiscated. The remaining German industries had to give up a share of their production to the Allies. Large shipments of steel, coal, but also other industrial production were seized and transported out of the country. 
Later the Western Allies softened their stance in favor of the Marshall Plan, while Eastern Germany continued to deliver industrial goods and raw materials to the Soviet Union until 1953. <laughs> <laughs> Intellectual property The Allies confiscated large amounts of German patents, copyrights and trademarks worth about $10 billion. Topic: <laughs> Forced labor. Millions of Germans were pressed into forced labor for several years to work for the Allies in camps, mining, harvesting or industry. Topic: Occupation costs. Germany had to shoulder the cost of the Allied occupation by itself, amounting to several billion dollars. Topic: <laughs> Holocaust victims. Germany concluded a variety of treaties with Western and Eastern countries as well as the Jewish Claims Conference and the World Jewish Congress to compensate the victims of the Holocaust. Until 2005 about 63 billion euros have been paid to individuals. Additional payments by German companies which exploited forced workers have been made. Topic Recipients Topic Poland As a consequence of aggression by Nazi Germany, much of Poland was subjected to enormous destruction of its industry 62% of which was destroyed, its infrastructure 84%, and loss of civilian life 17.07% of its citizens during the war. Material recompensation incurred by Germany has been estimated as approximately 1.5 billion euros to 2006 exchange values, which equals to about 2% of all material losses of Poland, not including enormous loss of human population of about 6 million people. For those reasons, Poland still remains the country with the least amount of received reparations compared to the amount of damage done from Germany. On 23 August 1953, the Soviet imposed communist Polish regime under pressure and control of the Soviet Union announced it would unilaterally waive its right to war reparations from East Germany on 1 January 1954, with the exception of reparations for Nazi oppression and atrocities. East Germany, in turn, had to accept the Oder-Nice border, which gave around one quarter of Germany in its 1937 borders see former eastern territories of Germany to Poland and Russia. West Germany hadn't paid reparations to non-Jewish recipients for the damage inflicted in Poland. West Germany in 1972 paid compensation to survived Poles being victims of pseudo-medical experiments in various Nazi camps during the Second World War. Gierich Schmidt Agreement signed in 1975 in Warsaw, stipulated that 1.3 billion German marks will be paid to Poles who, during Nazi occupation, had paid into Germany's social security system without receiving pension. After German reunification in 1990, 
Poland demanded reparations again, as a reaction to claims made by German refugee organizations demanding compensation for property and land repossessed by the new Polish state that they were forcibly deported from as a stipulation of the Potsdam Agreement and the priorly mentioned Oder-Nice border. In 1992, the Foundation for Polish-German Reconciliation was founded by the Polish and German governments, and as a result, Germany paid Polish sufferers ca. 4.7 billion zlotys. Between 1992 and 2006, Germany and Austria jointly paid compensation to surviving Polish, non-Jewish victims of slave labor in Nazi Germany and also to Polish orphans and children forced to work. The Swiss Fund for the Victims of the Holocaust was paying compensation in the years 1998–2002 for Polish Jews and Polish Romani people being victims of Nazi Germany. There is an ongoing debate among Polish international law experts whether Poland still has the right to demand war reparations, with many arguing that the 1954 declaration wasn't legal as Poland wasn't a sovereign state. The reparations issue arose again in 2017 with comments made on the side of Polish government officials from Law and Justice Political Party. According to a statement made by the German government on the issue, the reparations issue was resolved in 1953 as Poland declined receiving any payments from Germany. This claim is being countered by Polish commentators, stating that the then Polish government was under control and heavy pressure from the Soviet Union and that its 1953 refusal is non-binding. In my opinion, Poland has the right to this reparations and the Polish state has the right to ask for them. Poland resigned from reparations in 1953 and had since repeatedly confirmed this. There is no reason to question the effectiveness of the 1953 resignation. Jarosław Kaczynski, leader of the Law and Justice Party, has been making comments on reparations issue ever since he brought them up. Sigmar Gabriel, foreign minister of Germany rejected the reparations issue again on behalf of the German government. Greece. As a result of the Nazi German occupation, much of Greece was subjected to enormous destruction of its industry 80% of which was destroyed, infrastructure 28% destroyed, ports, roads, railways and bridges 90%, forests and other natural resources 25%, and loss of civilian life 7.02-11.17% percent of its citizens. The occupying Nazi regime forced Greece to pay the cost of the Nazi occupation in the country and requisite raw materials and food for the occupation forces, creating the conditions for the Great Famine. Furthermore, in 1942, the Greek Central Bank was forced by the occupying Nazi regime to loan 476 million Reichsmarks at 0% interest to Nazi Germany. After the war, in 1960, Greece accepted 115 million marks from West Germany as compensation for Nazi crimes. Nevertheless, past Greek governments have insisted that this was only a down payment, not complete reparations. In 1990, immediately prior to German reunification, West Germany and East Germany signed the 2 plus 4 agreement with the former Allied countries of the United States, United Kingdom, France, and the Soviet Union. For Germany the issue of reparations has been settled with this agreement. 
On 8 February 2015, the Greek Prime Minister, Alexis Tsipras demanded that Germany pay the complete reparations to Greece. On 6 April 2015, Greece now evaluated the war reparations to be the equivalent of €279 billion. Euros. Germany replied that the stipulations of the 2 plus 4 treaty still stand and the issue was resolved in 1990. Israel West Germany paid reparations to Israel for confiscated Jewish property under Nuremberg laws, forced labor and persecution. Payments to Israel until 1989 amounted to about $14 billion. <inaudible> <inaudible> the Netherlands The Netherlands demanded reparations, but later desired to annex a large part of German territory. They eventually annexed 69 square kilometres in 1949, bought back by West Germany in 1960. Yugoslavia <inaudible> <inaudible> The Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia received a value of $36 million, in industrial equipment from the dismantled German factories. West Germany also paid 8 million German marks as reparations for forced human experimentation on Yugoslav citizens. Soviet Union Topic <laughs> See also World War 1 reparations Allied occupied Germany Flight and expulsion of Germans 1944 to 50 Morgenthau plan International Authority for the Ruhr Allied plans for German industry after World War II Operation Osoviakim Operation Paperclip London Agreement on German External Debts Wirtschaftswunder <laughs>